you'll have noticed when we ran the application and we managed to get the names to go to the text file on separate lines there was one small, small problem when we hit the view petition button it only showed us the first name because we only instructed it to read one line and to print one name so really what we need to do now is we need to do one final modification to the petition application to read multiple names from the file and then to print each one separately. To do this we simply need to add a loop that will repeatedly read a line from the file until the line that is read is null or it is an empty line. So let's take a look at how to do that. So we're looking at our view method now so we're back to our view button and you'll see in order to read the last time we said name equals br.readline and then we printed that one name. Now what we need to do is we need to put in a while loop and we say while name is not equal to null. Now you might ask yourself why am I not using dot equals when name is a string? Well the thing here is that null is not a string. Null would be you, to compare something with null you would use not equals okay rather than the dot equals method so just be aware of that so while name is not equal to null print the message and then name equals b or dot read line so we read the next line and then we close our loop so so long as the name that's been read isn't null print the name and read another name and eventually what's going to happen is the program's going to get to the end of the text file it's going to read a line which is null and then it will say wait a second and it won't go back into the loop it will exit out of the loop and it will go straight on to close the buffered reader again we probably could have indented a little better because we've added in the while loop so right click and format will fix that for you and now let's run our application and see if we add we view petition now because we should already have two names in the text file so view petition Francis Sheridan Joe blogs and we're done and if we add another one Mary Mary submit signature okay view petition Francis Sheridan Joe blogs Mary Mary so there you have it that is reading and writing text to and from a file it's straightforward enough. We've just looked at individual strings here. We looked firstly at writing one line of text to a file, and then we looked at how we can append the text to the file rather than overwrite the text that's already in there. And we looked at reading one line of text from a file and how we can read multiple lines of text if there are multiple lines of text in that particular file. Again, I have to, uh, have to stress, this is just one way to do this. There are many ways to do it, particularly if you look at reading from the file. There are ways to read text that's separated by commas or other symbols. So plenty of other reading can be done around this. This is just one example, a straightforward example of how to write text to a file and read text from a file. So I hope that it has helped.